Welcome to my channel, Striker 24 by 7. Part 2, Prerequisites Installations. In Part 2, we will be doing, OS Update, Disabling, SE Linux, and Firewall to avoid any permission issue while installing the softwares. Talling, Apache, MariaDB, PHP, and Perl modules. Before proceeding, you should be familiar with, VI Editor or Nano Editor. As part of this installation, I will be, referring my, blog striker 24x7.blogspot.com for step-by-step -step document. As documented in my blog, follow the steps mentioned. Step 2, OS Update. Copy-paste the commands in the console. Similarly, copy-paste the other commands, one by one and proceed to next steps. Step 3, Disable SE Linux, Firewall and Reboot the device to take effect the latest kernel. Once the server boots up, re-log into the console, and follow the next steps. Step 4, Dependencies Installation. Copy past the commands, one by one.
Step 5, MySQL Custom Settings. First take a backup of default settings. Next command will empty the file. Now using VI Editor, edit the my.cnf file. Now press I or insert. Now copy paste the below settings. Now save the file by pressing Ctrl C and colon WQ. Step 6, enable and start the Apache and MariaDB. Copy paste the below command which will enable Apache and MariaDB to start running once the server boots up. Step 7, updating the time zone. Copy paste the command to set the time zone to Indian Standard Time. If you want to set your own time zone, for example New York, then type the respective country and city. Step 8, Installing CPAN Modules. Copy-paste the commands listed in this section. You may run multiple commands in single shot, like I did now. Similarly copy paste the commands, mentioned in this CPAN steps. Either run commands one by one, or copy paste all together in a single shot. Once step 8 completed, I recommend to rerun all the CPAN modules again, without force that is without hyphen F. And make sure you get the output as shown in my video. Each module should show, up to date for each modules. If not then rerun the commands with force tag.
Step 9, Asterisk Perl Installation. Copy paste all the command in single shot. Step 10, SIPSAC Installation. Copy paste all the command in single shot. Step 10, Installing LAME. LAME is used for MP3 encoder. Copy paste all the command in single shot. Step 11, JASON installation. If you are installing asterisk 11 or asterisk 13, you must install JASON. Copy paste the commands. Step 12, E-Accelerator installation. E-Accelerator and used for PHP optimizer and accelerator. Copy paste the commands. Step 13, PHP custom settings. First take the backup of default PHP settings. Now use the VI editor to open the PHP.ini file. Now, edit the settings mentioned below by searching each value and replace. To search type slash and type the word. Now replace the value as mentioned and press Ctrl C. Similarly do the rest. Make sure to uncomment the date.time zone and enter your time zone value. Once done, save the file by pressing Ctrl C and colon WQ. Now you need to enter the accelerator setting in same file. Open the file again with VI editor and now search for word, dynamic. And copy paste the content below the dynamic extensions.
Now save the file by pressing Ctrl C and colon W Q. Now copy paste the next commands and make sure the output shows Zendori Accelerator. Step 14. Editing the HTTP conference file to enable recording and custom logging. Now using VI Editor, open the HTTP conference file. Now search for Word, custom log, and rewrite the content as mentioned in my blog. Now go to the last line of the file, by pressing, Shift, G. And copy paste the content mentioned in my blog, in the last line of the file. Now save the file, by pressing Ctrl C and colon W Q. Thanks for watching. Follow the part 3 video.